In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the location of the infill wall when you demolish an opening in Revit. I actually didn't know this was possible until I was writing the post on my blog BIM chapters. So as you can see here, I have an infill in a demolished opening and it's aligned with the exterior side of the wall. If I select this existing wall and change its size, you can see the infill moves with the face of the wall. By default, when we demolish an opening, a window or a door, the infill is the same as the host. This can be selected if you use the tab key and swapped out with another wall or even a curtain wall. So I'm going to take and make it something much more narrow than the existing wall. And then if you use the align tool with the exterior face of the existing host wall, I'm not actually able to get it to align that way. But interestingly enough, if you reverse the order, which you wouldn't normally want to do because it's going to move the host, I'm going to select the infill wall and then the host wall. And in this case, it didn't move, unlike the last time I tried it, which clearly you can see over here, it does work. So let's try that again. I'm going to use the align command. Interesting. So now it's not moving it, even though you can see it clearly moved over here. Um, I think maybe what I did is finish face exterior first. So that did work. In that case, it went to the other side though. So if I switch it to interior finish face and then try the align command and then I can lock it, although I'm pretty sure I didn't lock it last time. So let's change it to a wall that has a different thickness. And then so after that, of course, you'd have to move the host wall back into its proper position. If we select that and look at it in 3D for a moment, If I select something and then use the shift and center wheel to orbit, whatever selected now becomes the center of rotation. And again, we'll adjust this host wall one more time to something with a different thickness so that we can see it does maintain its position. So kind of a unusual set of steps you have to do to get this to work, but uh, that's how it works. I'll just post this video with my little missteps so you can see exactly how it typically doesn't work and then how I got it to work.